This here is an autograph featherweight light pod. It was purchased from Amazon.com um, by a seller called no Noteworthy Goods. Um, uh, it was purchased on August 8th for $65.43 and then sent overseas um, from the U.S. to a country in the West Indies called Trinidad. The cost of transportation is roughly about another, is roughly double, is roughly the same price as the cost of the item. So an item that costs 65 US um, will actually cost uh, 130 uh, TT when arriving within Trinidad and Tobago, um, which includes the shipping cost, the customs cost, the VAT, the online transfer tax. Um, the, I think there's also additional duties as well. Anyway, so that, that's the cost of this. Um, the problem with, with it is that, now this was purchased under the Autograph product uh, label, which is on the Amazon page. So I'm assuming that uh, a seller would, would be a genuine autograph, would be, would be selling genuine autograph products if they are on Autograph Amazon page. But anyway, um, so this here is what I purchased. Now the problem with it is that this part here, which is the USB plug, is basically cannot be plugged in. And there is no plug in here um, to allow this to come in. Um, the, or actually there is, but it's gone so far in that you can't actually get the plug in itself. So you may see here that there's literally nothing to grab onto. So if I take um, for example, uh, this here is a human, and I take this plug, which is the same USB plug as this, and try to plug it in, it won't get a grip into here. Um, there is no um, stamp on the back or any kind of manufacturing label, so I'm not sure if it's a real product or if it's a fake product that they're selling through Amazon and filtering the identity of this particular company. Um, to to basically sell a false product um, from this seller, um, and they're using Amazon as the uh, uh, basically delivery system. Now, because of the cost of sh of returning, this item cannot be returned. If it costs sixty five dollars to US to ship here, it costs about the same thing, maybe ninety US to ship back. So you're looking at a sixty five dollar US product turning into a two nearly with 65 plus 65 130 130 plus 90 turning into a 220 dollar product all without the assurance it, that it'll be working and then if it has to be shipped back into trinidad it'll incur another 60 dollars or 60 to 70 60 dollars um customs duty etc even with because customs um just don't work properly so you have that problem as well too so you're looking at maybe something that costs 65 us costing 200 and let's say 280 us you know when, when you when you're finished with it so it's important to get to get to make sure that your first purchase is right uh, because otherwise the cost will just spiral out of control just trying to get it fixed and it, or even so it doesn't even make sense to try and get it fixed or even return it simply because it just costs more than than it's worth um this is a Huon. Um, it, it, as you can see, it works. It's lighting up, and etc. Et the power works, etc. Um, I'm just going to turn it off here. So it's off now. And here is the power plug. Plug. And here it is not being able to be plugged into. Yeah. Look at there, not being able to be plugged into there. Basically, there's no grip. There's nothing. It's, it's, it's nothing. It's no, no grip at all. Nothing. Nothing. So that's the problem with this. So I don't know if it's a manufacturing defect with this product. I don't know if it's a fake product and a, and a, uh, that this seller is selling. Um, which is noteworthy goods, etc. 
noteworthy, noteworthy goods, which is on the Amazon platform. I don't know if they're doing it deliberately or if it was a false product that they bought accidentally. I have no idea. All I know is that I'm about $130 US out of pocket for buying it um, uh, on Amazon, which is supposed to be a trusted platform and on a page that is supposed to be a trusted um, manufacturer. So I don't know what's going on here, um, but I'd like it resolved in some manner um, because this puts into doubt basically anyone buying on Amazon um, if their sellers are delivering false products if they are if they are unwilling or through the amazon black box um yeah through the amazon black box of trying to return this overseas unwilling to reimburse not just for the cost but the cost of shipping um if the manufacturer is unwilling to um ensure the authenticity of products delivered by their page on one of the biggest platforms that they have so i'm not sure what's going on here um but I hopefully would like it resolved in um, about in about a week or two I'll be um, posting uh, the video um, regarding my review not just of this product but the whole experience I've had in trying to resolve this issue um, with this product um, and also um, seeing what's going on I need to know from the manufacturer if it is that this is a false product so that if the seller needs to be reported and taken off Amazon um, as well too. So not sure what's going on here. Thank you. Um, and hopefully maybe the manufacturer would be good enough to, to give me a replacement for this because the cost of sending this back to the US is is just ridiculous. It's, it's exorbitant. And um, it just does not make sense. Um, if there's something wrong with the product, it's good money has been paid for it. Um, in a market that where this thing is valued much more higher um, and you know there are alternatives to it so I don't know what's going on that's why